In my mind, dating for Asian guys is all about focusing on what you can control and improving these as much as possible. And these things that you can control can be broken down into three general categories. The first is physical traits. These are things like your physique, your fashion, your grooming, and kind of just like how you look physically. The second is your mental attributes. These are things like your personality, your confidence, your charisma, your social skills, your depth as a person, and just how interesting and enjoyable you are to be around. And finally, the third thing is your connection with the girl. And this is mainly how you interact and connect with her. Again, it's not about the best pickup lines to use or like the best exact words to say to a girl or like the best way to like cold approach someone. These are specific tactics and you need to improve your overall strategy. And so you essentially want to become the best version of yourself and focusing on one and two in particular will help you achieve this. And this is definitely the most important step and takeaway in this video. Like if you just stop watching now, just know that you need to improve yourself and become the best version of yourself to have as much success as you can. And if you don't do this and you don't put the work into yourself, then like nothing else in this video will be useful to you. So with that being said, I'll dive deeper into each category and kind of explain what you need to do in order to set yourself up for success. So the first category is the physical traits. Again, these are things like your physique, your fashion, and your grooming. And this is kind of all about like the first impression that you make. And your looks are pretty important because it helps like maintain attraction between you and the girl. And it also kind of helps you get your foot in the door in the beginning. When a girl sees someone good looking or like when you see like a pretty girl on the street, you kind of like stare at them and like tunnel vision for like half a second, right? And you want to have this effect on other people. So the first thing that you want to focus on is to improve your physique. And in order to do this, you need to work out and eat clean consistently. You want to focus on building a V taper, which means that your upper torso is wider than your lower torso, and it kind of creates like a V shape for your whole torso. Now, this is a very attractive shape to have on a man's physique, and so it's crucial that you work towards this. The best way to actually achieve this is to focus on making your upper torso wider. So this includes working on your shoulder muscles, your upper chest, and your lats. You also want to be lean enough where your waist is like skinnier and you're like kind of like snatched, right? And you just look like an upside down Dorito. In addition, you want to complement this V taper with powerful arms and powerful looking legs as well. Just looking powerful in general is good and masculine and girls will generally be much more primarily attracted to someone with the physique of a war general than like a skinny fat person who looks like they don't work out and doesn't even like leave their room, right? Again, you also want to be lean enough to have ab definition because having abs is a very big plus to your physique, but being lean also helps make your arms and other muscles just more vascular, which means that like the veins will be more visible and girls just really love veins on arms and like hands for some reason. I don't really know why, but that is the way it is. And in addition to being lean, lifting weights and eating clean in general will just make you healthier and like less bloated and this will make your face more angular and also more attractive. So the difference between picture one and picture two in that last shot there is pretty big, right? Um, it took a few years for me to go through this transformation and I tried a lot of things. Uh, some of it worked, some of it didn't work. Um, and so if you're kind of like in the process of make, making this transformation and you need some extra help, then I do have a community that I offer for people who are just trying to become the best version of themselves. So if that sounds interesting to you, then there's more information about that in the description below. Okay, I'd break over, back to the video. Another aspect of improving your looks is to improve your fashion. Improving the way that you dress is important because you want to look like you put effort into yourself and you want to look good when you go out together. The best aesthetics and fashion styles to make you look more masculine and just to make you have more sex appeal as an Asian guy is the modern streetwear slash casual wear aesthetic, as well as a cleaner, simpler, more formal, modern menswear aesthetic. When a girl sees a guy that they think is attractive, their reaction will be one of few things. They'll either think that he's like very cute or like very hot. And these two things are quite different. They both signal that the guy is attractive, but cute is more like a like a more feminine, like kind of like soft boy aesthetic. And hot is kind of more like a more masculine, like edgier almost aesthetic. And you definitely want to bias towards the hot reaction. And that's why streetwear and athleisure and just casual wear in general, as well as the modern menswear aesthetic are the best fashion styles for sex appeal for Asian guys. Because girls' reactions to you will generally bias more towards like thinking you're hot and less towards thinking you're cute. Like in my opinion, you definitely want to be considered more hot than cute. Cause like being cute is like, like you're like a little brother or some shit like that, right? And in addition to this, having a lean, well-shaped physique will just help you look better in these aesthetics and just pretty much any clothes that you wear in general. So this just emphasizes the importance of having a good physique and being lean. And so another really important aspect to improving your physical looks is to improve your grooming. And this involves things like getting a good haircut, having a good skincare routine, and just smelling good, and just kind of like hygiene things like this in general. It's more of like a bunch of small adjustments that like really add up to make like a big effect. So even if you do have a good physique and good fashion, the difference between someone who's not very well groomed and someone who is well groomed is quite big. And these are also kind of like some of the more easier changes to make as well because it's like you 
pay money for this one product, like deodorant or cologne to like smell good and like you give someone money to like give you a good haircut. It's super straightforward. It's like pay to win in real life, right? But generally you want to have good skin, have a nice clean haircut that fits your head shape and your aesthetic, smell good, and just be well taken care of in general. For your haircut, you want to find one that suits your age demographic as well as your aesthetic and your face shape. My recommendation for most Asian guys would be to just get some sort of like two block haircut with like a taper or like some like middle part shaped haircut. If you're younger or prefer slightly trendier hairstyles, then you can keep the back longer and kind of have more of like a mullet shape to your haircut as well. In terms of improving your skin, the biggest impact things you can do is to really just live a healthy lifestyle in general. So eat clean, nutritious whole foods, cut out processed sugar and processed foods in general, and just hydrate well by drinking enough water and electrolytes and just like eating fruit. In addition to this, you also want to improve your gut health as much as possible. This will also help your skin and just like pretty much everything about your body. So make sure that you're eating a clean diet and try and incorporate some probiotics every day in some form. So there's things like pickles, like kimchi, sauerkraut, um, fermented vegetables, just like anything fermented in general, as well as like yogurt, kefir, and kombucha. Just these like foods that have probiotics and good bacteria for your gut. If you consistently eat clean and hydrate well and eat probiotics every single day, over the long term, not only will your skin look so much better, but your whole body and your brain and everything will just like feel so much better. You also want to have a simple skincare routine that can just be a cleanser, a moisturizer, and an SPF in the morning. Just doing these things and making your lifestyle healthier will do so much for your skin. Eating this way and having a clean diet also means that you'll smell good naturally too. Now, I don't mean that like if you just eat like two bites of broccoli, you'll instantly start smelling like Dior Savage or some shit like that. But over time, as you eat a nutritious and clean diet, your kind of natural body scent will smell good. And this is not something that's like super strong like a cologne. It's like a more subtle thing. But this natural body scent smelling good is super important. And maybe it's something related to like pheromones or something like that. But it's just a very good thing for a man to have. Trust me on this. So because eating a clean, nutritious diet as well as working out consistently just has so many benefits to improving your physical looks, these are kind of like the most important things that you can do and should be like your biggest takeaway for this video. Because not only will it make your physique look better, by making your physique look better, you'll also make your outfits look better, your skin will clear up and improve, and your mental health will be better so you'll be more enjoyable to be around. And you'll just like have like a better time in general, right? Now on the topic of physical attributes, let's talk about height. Does height matter? Yes, height obviously does matter, but it is just another physical attribute. So similar to how being taller is better than being shorter, having a good physique is better than being a fat slob, right? They're both just physical attributes, one you can control and one you cannot control. So just focus on improving the one that you can control. And there's so many other things that you can control and improve. So just focus on these things and like, don't worry about your height. There are many, 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 many guys who are like very successful with women who are under six feet or like not very tall at all. Just to give like a general example, like I imagine most K-pop models are probably not over six feet they're probably in like the average height range of like five eight to five nine and just like dudes in asia in general are not that tall but they still are able to be with these like very beautiful women right this guy i think his name is like vlad he's 170 centimeters and if you just look at him you can probably tell that he just has like no issues pulling girls right um I, I think this dude is gay but that's kind of beside the point again look at this guy this guy is one of my viewers and i don't think he's super tall i think he's like five six or like five eight or something correct me if i'm wrong on this vin but he takes care of his looks he takes care of his fashion he takes care of his physique he has a good career and he's also really fucking good at muay thai i think he's like a national champion or some shit like that and so like do you think this guy has trouble with like pulling women or is like womp womp about his fucking height all the time Definitely not. There's like more important things to focus on and improve. And trust me on this, your insecurity and limiting beliefs on your height is fucking you over more than your actual height itself. So now that we've gotten over the physical attributes, let's talk about the mental attributes. Improving your looks will help you get your foot in the door, but who you are on the inside is really what will make her stay and kind of like be her judgment of you in the long term. So it's just as important that you improve yourself mentally as you would physically. You want to be someone, I also want to be someone. So like, we want to be someone who is confident and masculine, charismatic, has good social skills, is interesting, has a good personality, and is just enjoyable to beat around. Now, although each person's personality is obviously different, my personality is mine, yours is yours, each of these traits that I just mentioned are all things that can be worked on and improved. And a lot of these things you can just do by just like, talking to people and just having like social interactions every day. So practice like talking to like friends or like strangers and like try and improve how well you can connect with this person. You can also practice your confidence and charisma every single day as well. Like be more charismatic or confident, like ask the barista like how their day is, fucking like strike up a conversation with a stranger, right? And almost be like an actor and play the role of like who you want to be and the personality that you want to be when you're like talking to the barista or whatever, right? And any of this small talk is just like reps and improving your social skills and your confidence and your charisma. Again, we all have our own different personalities, but I think some good general traits to have are to be kind, to be funny, and to be charismatic. Having these traits will make it much more enjoyable to be around you. Imagine the cool type of guy who's like a really good fighter with like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Muay Thai and just MMA in general, 
but they're also really good at these like mental hobbies too like they're good at chess and they're good at coding this kind of contrast is something that like seems very impressive and it's just like cool in general so you want to get good at a passion or multiple passions because girls like people who are impressive like you don't have to be like an olympic level athlete or anything like that but if you're just like very good at like one specific thing whether that be like a sport that you play or even just like cooking or chess or coding or like really any hobby if you're like quite good at it then it's impressive and extra points in your favor you also want to be more confident and masculine especially as an asian guy and this kind of leads into the next section your connection with her and how you interact with her when you're with her ideally you want to be the confident and masculine man like the leader and like the decision maker and kind of like the captain of the ship and in order to compliment you you want her to be like a more feminine woman she's kind of like the energy or like the ocean that like propels the ship, right? But because you're the captain, you need to decide on the final destination of the ship and you need to also make the ship go like the right direction and like go along the right course so the ocean can like move the ship towards the destination. So you want to be direct, confident, and intentional with everything that you do. We're talking about interacting with women here, but this also just applies to life in general as well. For example, when you ask her on a date, when you're on the date and you decide where to go and like you make decisions on the date, when you hold her hands, when you're in bed, just whatever, right? You kind of want to be the confident and masculine man who will kind of lead the way and be intentional. And when you're not with her, you want to be focused on your own goals and ambitions and career and work or whatever, right? As a masculine man, this is your number one priority in life and your woman is secondary to that. On the surface, she might not like this and she might want to like spend more time with you or whatever which is completely understandable but deep down she'll respect you more if you kind of prioritize your own goals and ambitions because this will help you achieve impressive things and again girls like impressive things right like think of this recent like men in finance trend on like tiktok or whatever right like you think these finance guys are like skipping meetings or, like getting off work early or just like skipping over time in order to hang out with a girl no they're fucking like laser focused on the work and like i'm pretty sure finance is like very well known for it's like pretty terrible like work-life balance and, like really long work hours but the point is is that these guys are kind of like masculine and that they're like very focused on their career and their ambitions and their goals. And I think this is a big reason why finance guys are just like so popular, right? So this whole section can kind of just be generalized into this concept of you being like a masculine and confident man and you're focused on your goals and your ambitions and this is kind of your first priority in life and girls and everything else just kind of like revolves around you, right? You're like the rock pillar and like the sun and like the girl is like the planet that's like revolving around you. Like for example, like think of future, right? He's like calm, collected and just like very confident obviously, right? And he kind of just focuses on his own thing and the girls kind of just like revolve around him. Now I'm not telling you to start like making trap music and start rapping or anything, but this is like the kind of like dynamic and like aura that you want. But with that being said, when you are with her, here are some guidelines on how to act more confident and masculine when you are with her. And when I say act more confident and masculine, I don't mean that in a way where like, I want you to pretend to be this person that you're not. It's kind of more that this is the type of person that you should aspire to be. And in order for you to become this person, you kind of have to like act the way that this person does. And slowly like, who you are now and like your ideal self will like align and converge and you will eventually become this like ideal person that you want to become so first i'll go over how to text them in general you kind of just want to be busy with your own stuff and just text them when you have time so for example me personally when i'm working during the day i probably won't check my phone for hours and so i probably won't respond to a girl for hours because i'm not like looking at my phone and when i'm resting or have some time off i'll check my phone and respond to messages and i'll be able to respond in a matter of like a few minutes even right and in terms of timing this is ideally how you want to text girls you kind of just want to be focused on yourself and text them when it's convenient for you and if you're not yet at this point where you're like super focused on your ambitions and you kind of like still like check your dating apps or like your text just like every few minutes like i've been there before you can kind of just like act like you are this way and like text them in this way and that maybe you text her and she responded a few hours ago and then you wait a few hours before you respond and then the next time she texts you you can like respond in a few minutes and kind of act like you're on like a break or whatever right again this is kind of like acting like a person that you're not and i do recommend that you actually become so focused on your goals and your ambitions where like this kind of naturally becomes your texting schedule with them but if you're not at that point yet this is kind of how you replicate it now when you're texting them you do want to kind of like genuinely connect with them and like have like a good conversation or like a good connection with them over text but you do want to prioritize getting them on a date. And me personally, my strategy is to kind of just text less and like meet up more and use text as more of like a tool to schedule meetups and dates and whatever. And like also like text them and have conversations with them from time to time. But kind of meeting them in person is my main priority. Not only is this more efficient, but really like when you talk to someone face to face, obviously there's like a lot more like connection than if you were to like text them right and so they get a lot more of you and who you are and your body language and your energy and like generally the person that you are when you meet them face to face that like they wouldn't normally get over text also send them voice messages from time to time people don't usually do this and so it'll help you stand out and if you just think about like these like successful busy men like fucking like Hamza or Iman Gatsi or something they're almost definitely not like spending like 
20 minutes trying to figure out like the best wording for this text to this girl, they're very focused on their own stuff and like they'll just send like a voice message to convey whatever they need to communicate to this girl just for convenience, right? On top of that, the girl hearing your voice over the voice message just kind of like humanizes you more than seeing like a text bubble and like the actual text, right? Now, when you actually go on a date with her and meet up with her, you want to make sure to hold your frame. What this means is that you kind of want to be this like very solid foundational like rock pillar and you kind of hold your own space and she kind of like revolves around you. So for example, if you guys hug or if you're like sitting down and you put your arm around her, don't lean into her. Use your arm to like gently pull her into you. Imagine yourself as like the sun and she's like a planet that kind of like revolves around you, right? You kind of stay where you are and she kind of revolves around you. Again, this kind of follows like the dynamic of you're like this like confident and masculine, like very like stable structure. And she's kind of like this like feminine free flowing energy that revolves around you. And with that being said, this is also kind of just true with you interacting with her in general, like when you're scheduling a date or something, like she should kind of like schedule around you. Obviously you want to work with her to figure out a day where you're both free, but you shouldn't be like, oh, like any day is good for me, like whatever works for you. Like you should have days where you're busy and like working on your own shit and you don't have time to like see her. And because you only have like limited days in the week to see her, like she also needs to kind of like work with you to like figure out a day where you guys can meet, right? And I don't mean that you should like purposely act like you're busy just for the sake of like appearing busy and like kind of making it harder for her to see you. You genuinely want to become this type of person where you're like so focused on your goals and your ambitions that you only have a few days out of the week where you're available to see her. Now with all this being said with you holding your frame and her revolving around you this doesn't mean that you should be like an asshole to her or anything like that right like you still want to be like kind and sweet to her kind of like a masculine gentleman right like be sweet to her buy her flowers do nice things for her give her like sentimental gifts and kind of just like romanticize being with her as if you're like the main character in a romance movie go out of your way or like go out of the way of what's normal and do some like abnormal like crazy shit for her kind of like how like a movie star or like Luffy from One Piece, for example, would like do all these crazy things just for the sake of his friends and his like crew, right? Or like the movie star would like do all these like crazy things just to, like get the girl. Now this doesn't have to be some like grand gesture that like takes like three months to plan and costs a fuck ton of money or anything. You can do little things that require like little to no effort. And a good example of this is if you guys go to like a restaurant, for example, right? Usually you walk in, you say table for two and the waiter kind of takes you to your table. And normally people would just like sit down at the table, right? But what you can do is like when you get to the table, just like stand there and like pull out her chair for her and then like you know have her sit down and then you can sit down and like maybe it'll be like a little awkward and like a little out of like the normal flow of like social norms or whatever because like the waiter has to like stand there for an extra like two seconds holding the menu or something but it's kind of this like small thing that people wouldn't really normally do and is like almost a little abnormal and so you kind of want to like create this ripple and like go out of like the normal flow of how things should be just for her if that makes sense at all another example of this is like if you're walking or like even if you're like driving somewhere and like she's sitting next to you and you see like a nice patch of flowers on the side of the road. You can literally like stop the car on the side of the road and go like pick a flower for her and like give it to her and say some shit like, I thought this flower looks really pretty and so I wanted to pick it for you. She'll say to you something like, oh my god, you stopped the car just for that? Like, you're so stupid, but like, the whole time while like smiling at you and like, deep down she like really like this like kind of gesture, right? And this isn't the type of thing that like any like normal guy would do, right? Cause it's like, cause like if you really just think about it, it's kind of like borderline autistic to just like stop the car in the middle of the fucking road or like on the side of the road just to go like pick a flower on like the side of the road, right? But this is kind of what I mean by like, going out of your way and like kind of doing like crazy shit for her. But again, you do want to remember that you're kind of this like masculine stable rock pillar while you're like doing these for her. And so how I kind of balance this dynamic is I kind of view myself as like a god of control where I kind of control everything around me and the world is my oyster. And anything that she wants in this oyster, in this world that I control, I'll get it for her. Now this is the kind of energy that you want to bring and some of you might think of this as like simping or something, but it's really about being able to like do these things for her while you're on a date with her, while also being able to like continue to be a masculine man and focus on your own goals, right? So it's like when you're working on your goals, you're very good at that and you kind of excel at that. And then when you're on a date with her, you're kind of like also doing your best here and you're also excelling at that and being very good at like going on a date with her and being like a gentleman and just like a good like guy to be with, right? So it's kind of like work hard, play hard and like just like be good at both of these things. And again, a lot of these are just like small things that don't really take that much time or effort. Like as dumb and out of the way as it may seem, stopping the car to pick a flower will take like what, like five minutes of your time max. Like when you walk in the restaurant and you pull her chair back for her to sit in, that'll take like an extra like 10 seconds of your time. So kind of like have this energy and like be excellent when you're with her and this is a fantastic way to stand out. These grand gestures and like crazy roundabout plans that Luffy does for the sake of his friends or that like the romance movie star does to get the girl where maybe the girl has like 
a fashion show or like a modeling show at some place and you're not on the guest list but then maybe you like try and sneak in or you like you apply for a job there like two weeks in advance in order to like be able to go there and like see her like this type of grand shit like this is the type of energy that you want to have and of course doing things like this is a bigger investment so i guess you really only want to do this if you and the girl are like very locked in but if you do pull this off think of how like sick that is but anyways that wraps up this section and also the video remember to be a masculine and ambitious man and stay focused on your own goals and ambitions while also being excellent when you go out with a girl in order to become this man you really need to become the best version of yourself by improving yourself physically and improving yourself mentally and this is really how you stand out and succeed in dating as an Asian guy. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, thanks for your time, and bye-bye.